And I'm going to click on... <laughs> I never noticed our animated is aerodynamic. <laughs> Keywords. Anime. <laughs> Titties and fig. Best research text ever. Didn't fit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that looks disgusting. Papa Flamby's Earth and Calendar. Oh, I, 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 ha, are you here? It's finally time. Fellow weeps, whip your dick out. All of you. Give it some fresh air. I got everything here. I got my Japanese, I wanna be a weep, otaku, whatever, starter pack. I got my sexy anime calendar. I've got my Sensu Days. I also got my Jojo references. Nani Jotaro. I got my Bounty Hunter Yoko figurine. Also, I got my peanut butter mochi, which is really important. And last but not least, every good otaku and weep needs his Doshinji collection. I got everything. We are going to review the most prestigious and most renowned research paper in mathematical history. It's going to be an absolute bliss. You could say this is a research review. Research review. Now, I won't go into any more detail about the Doshinji here because um, I want to actually monetize this video for Frick's sake. Um, <laughs> but I can leave you here, Bounty Hunter Yoko. For all of you who are um, just like me, avid figuring collectors. Um, <laughs> you are probably kind of jealous that I have this figurine right here. Also, don't forget to check out STEM merch. We got 10% off our levitating clothes for the rest of the day. Also, 10 to 15% off everything over on my Teespring shop using the code 42069. You can receive a lot of merchandise over there, all my merchandise. Check it out, links at the top of the description. So I wanted to review this research paper for one and a half years by now, but I never got around doing it. Um, but today is the day. I posted a snippet of it a while back on my Twitter and the person who released this research paper actually noticed me, which is kind of funny. He sent me a little, <laughs> a little reply. I, Papa Flemmy, noticed me, and I said I'll soon post a review about this paper, about oh, holy fuck, <laughs> four months ago, almost no, three months ago. But never mind. Today we are finally going to do it, and the research paper's title is analysis and qualitative effects of large breasts on aerodynamic performance and wake of a Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid character. I think this already speaks volumes. You can find a research paper down there in the description. Let's get right into the meat. Am I right, Yoko? <laughs> so he published this on ResearchGate and, and I can't believe it. Over a million reads and I'm fairly certain that this right here is the most read paper ever on ResearchGate. I don't think that anything ever receives that many views. I, with my over 100k views on ResearchGate, um, am already like head of my whole university. No one at my University of Potsdam ever had so many views collectively. And, and this was already huge, but over a million reads here, it's pretty ridiculous. This went through a lot of meme pages. And you can just download this research paper. It's open to everyone and it's just... Um, it's just really promising. I did not look through the whole thing up until now. Um, I wanted to do this um, once I do this kind of meme review here. And I'm going to click on... <laughs> I never noticed our animated is aerodynamic. <laughs> the scientific community, what has become of you? Oh my god. <laughs> Beautiful text. And Rabino, thank you very much for the laugh. And now we are going to dive into the main spiel. Analysis and qualitative effects of large breasts <laughs> on aerodynamic performance and wake of a Miss Kobayashi's dragon made today's character. Keywords. Computational fluid dynamics. ANSYS, drag coefficient, human aerodynamics, SST K omega model, anime, <laughs> quetzalcoatl, titties and fig. Best research text ever. Um, so guys, we, we did it. It's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. Rabino, my boy, good job. 
the keywords anime titties. <laughs> this is amazing. Fake. <laughs> Fake with double C. This thing is an absolute meme. I just love it. Okay. <laughs> A computational fluid dynamics methodology is used to study the salient flow features around the breasts of a human figure and to describe the aerodynamic differences imparted by their geometric presence. Two models are proposed for examination, a 3D reference based on a character design with a significantly buxom figure and the modification of this design where the breast size is reduced significantly. Hair sigh! I call hair sigh! You can't do this! Don't shrink my enemy titties down, goddammit! So, um, so it seems he... <laughs> Sorry, Andrew, I'm going to tone it down. Oh, Andrew was already screaming down there. The... Yeah, on, shut Thank up! You. I know, I'm being way too loud. The present results are expected to provide useful information on the validity of the statement. Let us just this in terms of an aerodynamic standpoint. <laughs> oh, this is so good. <laughs> this is pure God. Okay, um, let me see. Let me see. Let me read for a second and let's see um, how much information we can get out of this whole paper and if it's even meant to be serious. I think he actually did some real research on this and I hope you really did publish this, I don't know, to your department of mathematics or physics, I don't know, it's just hilarious. So at first he's referencing that aerodynamics plays a huge role in athletic disciplines like swimming etc. We all know this and he wants to study the aerodynamic effects of large breasts on, for example, sports, okay? Um, if there's any uh, real downside to having thick titties. So yeah, this is what, what we're going to get out of this paper. Oh, hopefully, I do hope so. <laughs> this work is intended to contribute to the understanding of how large breasts can affect the dynamics of the human vague through the use of computational fluid dynamics simulation tools. So he's doing it basically via simulations and numerically. I think there's no other way you could otherwise solve problems like this. I mean, there's, such, there's just so much data going on, f flying around, you just need to do this computationally. Also, if you are wondering what wake is, if I remember correctly in fluid dynamics, it's just if something passes along your body, this is like the wave or like the like the fluid dynamics going on behind your back, basically. This is the wake, if I remember correctly. Okay, so in the next part is basically just serious theory. So he's just describing that uh, there's some um, vortex shedding that's occurring and stuff like this. And yeah, that you can approximate humans like being cylinders and stuff like this. So this is kind of a serious part, but now we are going to get into Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid today. And what we can see here is a very fine individual. We got, oh, I think this could cause problems in the calculations. Um, she's looking like supersonico in regards to the body structure, how, how thick she is. In, in regards to the thickness factor, she just looks like supersonico. And on the one hand, we have way too big titties. Um, if you're wondering, no, I do not enjoy large breasts. It's, it's not my cup of tea. I'm more of a, yeah, smaller breasts are better guy. And at first we have to run from Cure Animation um, on the left hand side and then we have the modified version with the um, flattest justice um, model basically. And I'm pretty certain that someone did it for him like on Reddit or something. So like, like asking, could someone shrink down these breasts for me? These nerds, these, these oh no, no. <laughs> Aerodynamic effects of big nuts. <laughs> these nerds. Okay, next up um, is just talking about the methodology. And other than that, oh yeah, he was also observing how big she actually is. So the body size and he actually did some pretty good research. So he was comparing her to a door frame she passed through. So that's, that's a good catch, if I may say so myself. And he was comparing the height using Adobe Photoshop with the vanishing point to, ah, gotcha, okay. This is cool, this is cool. That's, that's a good observation. Nice, nice use of um, reference frames. I don't know, <laughs> frames, you, you, you know, door frames. Never mind. Oh, holy moly. Oh, there we go. Mm. Okay, so we are. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, yeah, so we got the 3D models and they look hella creepy. Oh goodness, this is... Oh, <laughs> the breasts! <laughs> Holy fuck. The, this is nightmare view. No, I... Ugh. That looks disgusting. This looks like a really uh, weird, still need to paint 3D print. That looks absolutely disgusting. Um, so if I take a look at the models, he's probably going to take a look at rigid models, meaning he's not going to take a look at like this body position, he's going to take a look at this body position, but also if he's just rendering the models in 3D, he's probably also going to take a look at yeah, rigid hair. I don't think that he's going to account for the for the fluid dynamical flow on the hair. But also he needs to take into consideration that we have the horns going on because this is kind of unusual for a human being. So choosing an anime character is kind of not the best choice here, but, but it's pretty good for the memes. But but yeah, this stuff is nightmare fuel. This, this looks absolutely horrible. <laughs> Next up he's talking about the cup size and <laughs> he was extrapolating and cup sizing and the largest listed size eye cup. Okay, uh, goodness. Ugh. So for the for the normal model, it's 10 cups larger than the eye cup. It's the, oh, goodness, it, that's disgusting. And the flat model is a stark contrast to this, where it matches a petite. <laughs> Ma petite. My petite, oh, I was thinking about American Horror Story, great, great stuff, watch it if you haven't done so already. <laughs> Matches a petite AA65 size. Okay, next up we have some fluid dynamic stuff going on, which I have no idea how that works. Never did that, but I wanted to attend that module at university because it looked really promising. So we have some formulas going on that apply. Let me see. So the drag force FD is defined by being an integral, okay. And we also have CD, which is the drag coefficient. Yeah, this is just some stuff that you probably did research on in before. Then we have some more serious stuff going on. And he's accounting for all the direction, it seems, with those different forces being integrated over different areas. This is interesting. I'm going to read more into this after after being done with, with the video because this actually in, interests me a tiny little bit because, um, you know, I got my loop here. <laughs> it's really interesting. And now we get to the whole computational part. Okay. Boundary conditions of the computational domain, with the inlet being represented in blue, outlet in red, walls in white, and symmetry in yellow. Okay, so basically, this is already uh, uh, this is already uh, the part where he uh, uses air, it seems, on our on our three D model, and then he's going to see how the particles flying around are affected by the large breasts or not so large breasts. Um, and this model seems to be in a stable flow, meaning there's going to be continuous airflow traveling towards someone or maybe even other particles like water, I can tell right now. Maybe this, um, yeah, so we, oh, here, here's some more stuff. So we got Reynolds number. This is a constant popping up from Navier Stokes. Then we got the wind speed of this, U, infinity. And then we have turbulent intensity and turbulent viscosity ratio and all this crazy stuff that uh, Tom Crawford probably knows a lot more about. So Tom, if you're watching, take a look at these titties. They are worth it, <laughs> probably. And yeah, wh what I was saying before, the, the model is probably in a steady flow of wind. So wind is going to press um, at it at the same rate all the time same number of molecules hitting the model all the time. I suppose this is how it's going to work. Maybe I'm wrong on this one. Then we got some boundary conditions. And now we got some fancy, uh, yeah, Navier-Stokes going on. I mean, it does make sense to use Navier-Stokes for that. And 
I think this is really cool. It's a particular solution to the Navier-Stokes equation under the condition or the boundary conditions that we have anime titties involved, which is really good, which is really good if you ask me. So we got some more stuff, con conversion discussion. Okay, but, um, oh, holy, yeah. So he's definitely finding out a lot of stuff going on. Um, I can probably already say that huge titties aren't too much of a good thing to have when running around. So the side effects should be tr tremendous in comparison to the flattest justice model. Velocity based trends. Okay, so we got a lot of stuff going on over here. I'm not going to look at that. I'm only interested in the um, in the loop consuming parts of the paper. There we go. This is what I want to find out. So. It's actually quite cool if you take a look at these models. It's 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 kind of weird. All the um, all the vortexes you see and and all the turbulence going on um, just has to do. I think there's a lot of turbulence going on in the hair region because we are dealing with rigid hair, meaning it's probably um, really going to play with the wind. So yeah. Um, it's like a lot of barriers going on and a lot of slits where the wind can pass through and this is going to cause a lot of turbulence. But overall, there, if I compare these two pictures, I mean on the part down here there's not much going on um, differently on the two pictures. But the part up here is already quite different. Um, also at the horns we are seeing some turbulence, but overall it doesn't seem too bad to have big titties because they are basically in the front and not really blocking the paths off where the wind can pass by. It's interesting actually. Um, didn't fit. Ah! <laughs> the, uh, that looks disgusting. Yeah, but we have a pro. Yeah, um, if we have horizontal streamlines, then we have the problem that uh, <laughs> air is, is basically flowing over the titties and that way you are going to be blocked off by the air. You are going to have more air resistance. It seems like it at least. Um, which which does make perfect se ah, sense. Set of horizontal streamlines on the normal model flowing beneath the bust. Yeah, obviously. The wind is going to get stuck underneath the breast. And yeah, you are going to have more resistance there. Interesting stuff, interesting stuff. And now we have some more... Um, things going on, more diagrams, and we have some more crass go I think it's it's kind of curious that the models do not differ by too much. Um, just seems like if the wind passes on you from from in front, it, it, it really doesn't hurt too much if you have large breasts. This is interesting. Uh, I can stand these pictures. Though. Those uh, those knockers, <laughs> haven't used knockers up until now. They look disgusting. Um, yeah, and yeah, those diagrams look just really meme. -y. This is just plain weird, if you ask me. I don't think that uh, this ain't looking good. I don't like this. Uh, what this? Uh. <laughs> okay. Summary and recommendations. This paper has offered a unique compendium of data providing insight into the effects of a specific <laughs> physiological feature on the aerodynamic performance of a human. Definitely. I mean, this was really unique. Um, <laughs> it is safe to conclude that the phrase flat is justice is deficient aerodynamically. Yeah, like I have noticed, um, it really doesn't hurt too much to have big titties. This is um, this is uh, aerodynamically speaking pretty pretty cool. Um, <laughs> but we also have some acknowledges going. Okay. The author would like to send a massive thanks to the user IceMega5 found on both Twitter and bowlroll.net for the Quetzal <laughs> Codal model. With their work this study would not have been 
possible. The author is grateful for his fellow colleagues for dedicating their time in helping proofread and provide guidance on this paper, proved by thick titties. <laughs> Additionally, the author would like to make a shout out to users that frequent the R anime IRN. <laughs> Oh no! And our enemies community for their inspirational and fervent dissoluteness. Lastly, the author expresses gratitude towards both Cool Kyoshincha and Kyoto Animation for their work on Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. The author received no funding for this research. Why not? I don't understand this. He did such a great job. The results of the present study do not constitute endorsement of any potential entity, whether expressed or implied. Quetzal Caudal is also not the author's wife. <laughs> Why hasn't this been the keyword for fuck's sake? Although he respects her character as the god of thick. <laughs> oh, th this was good. Uh, I just think that the references are really good. It's it's just it's just a perfect match, and 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 this is even better than me having sixty nine pages for my master's thesis flat sixty nine pages. <laughs> which is already a meme or using the suck function with with double c in my bachelor's thesis yeah this right here was was on a whole new level i just love this oh we we got some more uh, appendices going on which is cool um <laughs> yeah what can i say um i want to thank the author for providing me with this video i mean he was the main inspiration for the video and it was really cool to look through all of this um it's kind of interesting that the result really Im implies that there's not much difference when it comes to the aerodynamics. This is really cool. Like I said before, you can find the link to the research paper down in the description as well as the link to the levitation globe and all my merchandise, like I said, 10% off. Um, I'm going to bid you guys farewell now. I thank you guys for watching. This has been day number four of the Edwin calendar. I'm going to eat my peanut butter mochi now because it actually tastes pretty good. Okay. Um, and while I'm at it, I'm going to blow myself off with this uh, sensu. And up until next video, I wish you guys a flammable day. Thank you for watching. Now you can watch me eat a mochi at the very end. See ya! Mm, Yoko. Can't believe it. It's so good. Mm. Do you want to have a bite, huh, Yoko? Me waifu? No. Yeah, I know, you know, the Sinakat Wasaki is my waifu, but she ain't here. We're totally alone now. How are your aerodynamics going, actually? Mm, okay. Yeah, those are really thick. Those, those are really thick. I can feel the air behind your back. That's amazing. Oh. Mr. Yeah.